hey guys welcome back to my channel called how to today we will be uh, looking into how we can clone a disk uh, from our pretty cool software called aomei backupper okay as of now i am running aomei backupper professional version and in professional version like you know you will be getting a feature of cloning okay so this is a very cool uh, uh, feature that i have came across so i thought to make an additional video from uh this aoma backupper uh software okay uh, so right now i'm just to demonstrate this video i will be using my external uh, pen drive and that is of around 16 gb just to showcase you the feature uh like you know uh that uh, that we have in in the software okay so right now uh, I'm in clone uh, option here, right? And we have in three different options system clone, disk clone, and a partition clone, right? So for system clone and disk clone, I can demonstrate this, but as of now, I don't have an external hard drive just to check it out, right? Because I don't have that much space to do so. So for our simplicity, the process will be the same, but I will be going forward for partition clone, okay? But just to let you know, if you have a disk that you want to clone to your new SSD, right, uh, to your new hard disk, uh, if you want to, uh, like, you know, clone your or copy your exact information bit to bit from your old hard drive to a new hard drive, right, this is the option uh, that is best suited for, okay? Um, right, if you want to, just, just, just to uh, demonstrate, if you want to clone a disk, right, uh, what you need to do, just uh, click on this clone okay so disk means entire hard disk okay right now i do have a disk zero which is uh which have c drive d drive e drive and so on and so forth right as uh so it might be different in your case but i do have c d and e okay partition uh, so if i want to clone this entire disk zero to a new disk that is this is my external pen drive right i right now i do have a pen drive that is of 16 gb right uh 14.5 gb Okay, if you will be attaching a separate a new brand new hard disk, okay, uh, as an external drive wherein you want to clone your existing uh, hard drive to a new drive, then this is the option that you need to go for. Okay, what you need to do, you will just click on uh, select your disk. If you have a multiple disk, you will be selecting disk 0, disk 1, disk 2 as, as your internal disk drive and click on next. Let's wait for a moment. Okay, the source disk cannot be specified as the destination disk. Okay, for this option, I think so. This is the disk. Okay, and disk zero. What I need to do is rather than selecting disk zero, I need to select my external disk where I want to clone my entire disk. Okay, where you want to clone your entire disk to a new one. For for this case, disk one would be my new hard disk where I want to clone my disk zero, right? So I'll select my disk one as an external hard drive where I want to clone my existing hard drive, okay? And then I have to click next. But in this case, I don't have much storage, right? So that's why I have an option. Uh, I, I, I got a prompt, note, this selected disk is too small. I need to have at least 242 GB additional, okay? So that's why I cannot run this part here. But yeah, for, for your case, if you want to clone your disk, uh, what you need to do, simply come come here, right? If you want to clone your system, clone even, right? If you want to clone your system, okay? And then you need to select your destination, uh, you need to select uh, your destination drive, and then you need to click next. But here, uh, like, you know, I, 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 I don't have that storage to clone it, okay? So the system clone even the same, disk clone even the same, okay? The process is the same, I think you're clear with it. If you have additional, queries if you run into any sort of issues uh do let me know i'll, I'll help you out okay uh right now i'll be proceeding forward for partition clone that is something i can demonstrate you right so partition clone is, is even like you know very very cool uh feature that uh i feel uh i do have from aomi backupper software that is i can precisely select my desired drive uh, my desired partition that i want to clone right so for example in this case i will be I, I i need to clone my e drive okay so for example in e drive i do have multiple files and folder right and i want exactly like you know, every bit bit by bit right like 
exactly a clone of my existing e drive to my uh, external drive okay so if i'll go to e drive right see you can see a couple of uh, folders i do have right here so i just want to clone this a drive for, for example to my new drive okay to my new hard drive in this case i'll just select to my e drive right if you want to select multiple drive yeah you can even do so c d um i think i can select only one is it so let me try oh yeah i think uh it just uh i think i can only select one at a time it seems so but yeah uh let's 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 proceed further uh like you know if you let do let me know like you know if you can select multiple d and e at a time and you can proceed forward with one okay <clears throat> sorry so e drive right so i just want to clone my e drive i'll just click on e uh, right and then i'll click on next okay now it shows destination partition right select a destination place to save the source partition so i this so for me the destination would be my pen drive or my external drive okay and click on next <clears throat> sorry uh, after the operation the partition g will be overwritten so guys like you know make sure like you know you don't have any important uh data uh, that uh, you are keeping in your external hard drive right just just make sure if you have uh, any, any such uh, files and folder important document that you are keeping on your external external drive make sure to take it uh as a backup right because if if you want to proceed for the uh, cloning it will uh format that external drive and proceed forward for the cloning okay so right now I don't have any um, important files in, stored in my external drive. So I'll just uh, click on OK. And then it will show the summary. Uh, so what's the operation summary that we are going to do? We just want to clone uh, from E to, uh, from like the source partition would be E and the destination partition would be G, right? And, and the size and the storage and, and so on and so forth, right? So uh i'll click on start cloning and it will start okay uh some drive g are being in use now so the current operation cannot be completed would like to close these op programs that are running on the drive yes i want to close those the background operations and i want to push it forward for the cloning okay now let's see what it prompts me further partition cloning if you click on partition cloning i think you can even see what's going on the back end okay so clone is initializing checking volumes partition cloning and probably with, within some moment i think it will start a uh, top person okay so this is very uh, uh best uh feature that uh like you know i have come so far i i, I really love this uh part like i don't have any like you know i don't want uh to do manually like you know copy each and everything like you know to to my uh, external drive right even i can schedule it uh like, like this is like most uh even i feel like you know this is a uh, very uh a safest and a uh, best way to like you know uh, copy your entire data from your existing drive to a new drive and it, it is pretty, pretty pretty much fast as well okay so i think like yeah I'll, um, it will take time to complete right now it's 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 in 10 percent right uh probably it will take some time uh so meanwhile i think i'll be pausing the video and once it is completed i'll just resume it back okay oh well i just thought to share some more info on it like you now once uh like you now you just start the cloning uh if you click on uh copying data uh here right uh so the those like no data are being copied and over here right you can see how much of data has been copied uh right and how much of uh data would be remaining right and you can make an assumption right and like most uh, 800 mb have been copied so far from 3.5 main gb okay at a speed of 4.2 mb per second and the estimated time remaining is 11 minutes okay so it, yeah just 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 in case if you want to see how long it's going to take uh so this is an approach figure that like you, know, you can check it out okay 
so yeah it will take some time and again i'll i'll pause in this video and i'll just come back once it's completed okay and then we'll have a look on uh so well guys uh this seems to be completed okay and if i'll go to finish uh now i'll check my external drive either the clone has been completed successfully or not okay i'll go to g all right and then see like exactly everything has been cloned successfully okay so the total size and total file count would be seven and the space it is consuming was around um let's see almost six gb i think uh it's 3.44 gb right so if i go on e the file count should be seven total file count should be seven right and the space here would be the same okay 3.44 um let's see it should be same uh, i know um 3.44 gb okay so that's how like you know the cloning works right it's like pretty uh ease to do so yeah i think this is a very cool uh, uh like you know options that uh you can explore right if you need to clone your entire uh like you know uh, c drive system drive system cloning or if you want to clone an entire disk or or a partition as well right so this is how you can do and do let me know if you find this uh video informative and thank you so much for watching see you until next time bye bye